Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let's see the overview of our project. Title of our project is Medicating Distributed Denial of Servers Attacks and Multiparty Applications in the Presence of Clockers. Yes. Network based applications commonly open some known communication ports, making themselves easy targets for distributed denial of service attacks. Earlier solution for this problem based uh, based on port hopping between pairs of process which are synchronized or exchange acknowledgements. However, acknowledgement if lost can cause a port to open for a longer time and thus be vulnerable. While time servers can become targets to DOS attack themselves. Here we expand port hoping to support multi-party applications by proposing the Bigwell algorithm and Hopera algorithm for enabling ho hopping in the presence of bounded asynchronously, namely when the communication parties have clock with the clock refs. Uh, further, they do not have relay on the applications having a fixed port open in the beginning. Neither do they require the clients to get a first contact port from the third party. Let's see the data flow diagram of our project. Uh, first of all, we have to connect the client and server by initiating the process. After that, we have to generate the port and communicate to. We have to select the port to communicate, and we have to give the request to initiation. The timestamp is exceeded. The server port will be closed. Otherwise, uh, this. Uh, client should send the application data by using the Hopera algorithm within the time interval and server finally receives the data and and the port will be changed dynamically so this is the data flow diagram of the project uh, let's see the demo of our project uh, in this we have to run the client and server simultaneously so this is the server path and uh, we have to run the client side uh, this is a client side uh, in server side we have to start the server so server is started here then we have to check the server connection in the client side so uh, it's checking the client connected here then client uh, wants to communicate with the server so it should give the server IP address for the request so IP address of this uh, server is 192.168.0.68 and it sends the request so in server side so it checks for the uh, request so timestamp of the client and initiation time of the client is displayed here and client gives the uh, server gives the IP address of the client that is 192.168.0.68 and it should respond for the client request so it sends the response message to the client so here response is sent so we have to check the response from the here response is received from the server and so next we have to send the application data that is file transfer path so to receive this so server is ready to receive the file get the file by browse the file which is to be sent to the server and file size is displayed here and receiver IP address is 192.168.0.68 and we have to generate the port so we have to select the port from the generated port then we have to send the this application to the server so this is the server which is uh, the file is send it through this post so it, the application data is sent to this this all the ports so file transfer is completed here then we have to check in the server side yes data has been received in this side so in in client side we have to display that is uh, selected port to file transfer number of ports to file transfer there are 10 ports are uh, ports are used to transfer the file and file transfer started time this is and ended time is is and the file uh, time is taken to file transfer is this and we have to going to view the 
so uh, this is the uh, this file is sended by the client so here uh, number of ports to be taken to file transfer so file is splitted as 10 so each and every text file contains the some part of the original application data here so uh, 0001.txt contains this content of the original application Thank you.